वेलकम टू नॉर्थ केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस ई वीडियो लो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंटरमीडिएट फर्स्ट ईयर केमिस्ट्री टॉपिक केमिकल बॉन्डिंग इन केमिकल बॉन्डिंग आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी इन दिस कांसेप्ट दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो इन फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वेरियस पोस्टुलेट्स ऑफ मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी व्हिच वाज प्रपोज्ड बाय Kund and Mullikan. In second video, how these molecular orbitals are forming by means of linear combination of atomic orbitals was explained, and also discussed about why bonding molecular orbitals have lower energy than the corresponding atomic orbitals, and anti-bonding molecular orbitals have higher energy than the corresponding anti-bonding uh, atomic orbitals. And uh, in third video. i have discussed about what are the conditions required to be fulfilled by the atomic orbitals to combine and form molecular orbitals in this video i am going to discuss about basic types of molecular orbitals which are formed by the linear combination of atomic orbitals and their structures also the molecular orbital structures also is going to be discussed in this video thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel molecular orbitals of diatomic molecules so types of molecular orbitals so molecular orbitals of molecular orbitals of molecular orbitals of diatomic molecules diatomic molecules are designated as sigma pi delta and so on sigma pi delta and so on sigma pi delta and so on are designated as sigma pi and delta and so on so this in the nomenclature sigma molecular orbitals sigma molecular orbitals are symmetrical around the molecular axis sigma bond molecular orbitals are symmetrical around the bond axis while pi molecular orbitals are unsymmetrical pi molecular orbitals are not symmetrical not symmetrical around the bond axis around the bond axis so molecular orbitals of diatomic molecules are designated as sigma pi delta and so on and uh, the sigma molecular orbitals are symmetrical around the bond axis whereas pi molecular orbitals are not symmetrical around the bond axis so for example if you take 1s atomic orbital so 1s atomic orbital and another 1s atomic orbital will combine and will form two molecular orbitals one is sigma 1s this is the bonding molecular orbital another one is sigma star ns orbital it is anti bonding molecular orbital anti bonding molecular orbital similarly 2s atomic orbitals will combine and form again two molecular orbitals one is sigma 2s this is the bonding molecular orbital another one is sigma star 2s this is the anti bonding molecular orbital this is the anti bonding molecular orbital this is the anti bonding molecular orbital right so among 2p orbitals if you take we know that there are two three 2p orbitals 2px 2py 2pz 2px 2py 2pz in my previous video i have told z axis is the taken as the molecular axis that's why 2pz orbital we know that sigma bonds are formed by the uh, axial overlapping of atomic orbital over axial overlapping whereas uh, pi, pi orbital pi bond is formed by lateral overlapping so 2pz orbitals axially will overlap and form two molecular orbitals one is sigma 2pz this is the bonding molecular orbital this is the bonding molecular orbital another one is sigma star 2pz this is the 
anti bonding molecular orbital this is the anti bonding molecular orbital right so here the remaining two p orbitals we know that p orbitals are perpendicular to each other that's why if one p orbital is forming uh, sigma bond other two p orbitals cannot overlap axially that's why what happens is they combine laterally and forms two p orbital two pi orbitals that is 2 pi 2 px pi star 2 px similarly 2 p y orbitals also 2 p y orbitals also will combine pi star 2 p y pi star pi 2 p this is the bonding molecular orbital and this is the anti bonding molecular orbital this is the bonding molecular orbital this is anti bonding molecular orbital. so generally bonding molecular orbitals are represented with the sigma pi and so on anti bonding orbital sigma star and the corresponding uh, orbital atomic orbital name will be written in the subscript sigma 1s sigma star 1s sigma 2s sigma star 2s sigma 2pz sigma star 2pz pi 2px pi 2py uh, pi star 2px pi 2py pi star 2py so these are the various types of uh, molecular orbitals which are formed by the linear combination of atomic orbitals of same energy, same or nearly the same energy and similar, uh, same symmetry, same symmetry. So, we have various atomic orbitals. We have various atomic orbitals that is 1s, 2s, 2p and for intermediate point of view up to uh, 2p atomic orbital it is enough. So, 1s orbital are combining and forming two molecular orbitals. One is sigma bonding molecular orbital, sigma star anti bonding, 1s bonding one. Similarly, 2s will combine and will form sigma star 2s and sigma 2s. Similarly, 2pz plus 2pz. So here, he assumed that this is the z axis, is the molecular axis. That's why sigma 2pz and sigma star 2pz. Similarly, 2px and 2py will form pi 2px and pi 2py. Similarly, pi star 2px and pi star 2py. So, these are the various molecular orbitals formed from their corresponding atomic orbitals. If you take this, their If, to, if you take their shapes, you see, this is the 1s atomic orbital. This is the nucleus and this is the 1s atomic orbital. Similarly, this is the another 1s atomic orbital. Another 1s atomic orbital. If they combine the molecular orbital form, this is the sigma 1s. This is the sigma 1s. This is the sigma 1s molecular orbital. And uh, what about the anti bonding molecular orbital? So, here it will be formal like this. This is the sigma star 1s anti bonding molecular orbital. Sigma star 1s anti bonding molecular orbital. Sigma star 1s anti bonding molecular orbital. So, this is 1s, 1s atomic orbitals. And the molecular orbital sigma 1s is. The shape will be like this. And uh, so here, uh, the similarly, the 2s atomic orbitals also like this we can draw. If you take 2p orbitals, if you take 2p atomic orbitals, so for example, if you take 2p z orbital, here z axis is the taken as the molecular axis. So here, this is the, So here, these two 2pz atomic orbitals, these two 2pz atomic orbitals will combine. This is 2pz, this is 2pz. And the molecular orbital formed, the molecular orbital formed from these two is, this is the bonding molecular orbital. This is the bonding molecular orbital. Sigma 2p. Similarly, this is the anti bonding molecular orbital. 
This is the anti-bonding molecule. This is the anti-bonding molecular orbital. This is the anti-bonding. That is sigma star 2p z. Sigma star 2p z. So this is the uh, the uh, shape of the bonding molecular orbital. 2p z molecular bonding molecular orbital. Sigma star 2p z shape is like this. Similarly, we can write for 2p x and 2p z. So these are the px orbitals, 2px orbitals. And the molecular orbital form is, will be like this plus and this is the minus. And uh, if you take anti-bonding molecular orbital, if you take uh, this is the sigma 2p, sorry, pi 2px or pi 2p pi 2px or pi 2p This is the shape of this bonding molecular orbital of 2px atomic orbital. Similarly, if you take anti-bonding molecular orbital, the shape will be this is the anti-bonding molecular orbital, pi star 2px. Pi star 2px anti-bonding molecular orbital. So these are the various types of molecular orbitals and their shapes. Thank you for watching Trinath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.